Hey guys, this is Backwoods and Prepping. I uh, finished my rain catchment system and uh, it rained and filled this thing up. I don't know how long because I was asleep. <laughs> so uh, I am going to dump this thing completely out and because uh, it, it's the very first time I've ever put water in it. And uh, you know, when I got it from the, from the place I got it from, it was new containment but it did have a food grade um, peroxide or whatever in it. So I took it by the car wash and washed it out real good and everything. And then I brought it home and put some Dawn dishwashing liquid and some water in there and rolled it around in the yard several times. It's kind of a booger, you know, but eh, you know, it's a good workout. So anyway, um, what I wanted to talk about was the catchment system. All right, get point out a couple of things. You know, once you get it all cleaned out and everything, um, I'm like I said, we're we're fixing to get a lot more rain, so it's not a big deal. And I'm gonna try to get out here in time how how fast this thing fills up. And uh, so anyway, basically what you do is on this thing is uh, sorry, my neighbors were over there. They're probably wondering who is this crazy guy? What is he doing? Um, anyway, so I wanted to show y'all real quick what I did. So basically, I just, uh, you know, installed my gutters up through here and, um, took this piece right here and 45 it up against the house. I put a leaf catchment deal in here and basically, y'all can see that there. I hope I get that right. Basically, it just, the water comes in there. Any leaves or anything should wash right out of there. And uh, comes down into a T right here and comes over and drops down in here where I have another filter and I'll explain that here in a minute and uh, so the first flush system basically what happens is is this comes down all your water comes down and uh, let me get this camera adjusted here real quick all right would help if I had somebody out here helping me video this. So anyway, so all your water comes down, comes right down here, and uh, you got a ball valve here, so all the stuff will come into this pipe first and fill it up. So all your old bird poop and you know old dirty water and stuff coming off your roof to start out will come in here. So what you'll, what I'm going to do because I don't mind to get wet. Um, I am kind of sweet sometimes to people, but I ain't sugar, so I won't melt. <laughs> so, hey guys, anyway, um, so what I'll do is uh, when it starts to rain, I'll come out here and I'm gonna go ahead and open this ball valve up. That way what happens is, is all that rain water and stuff coming and it'll come down here and it'll just flush, you know, just keep flushing. So, when I've felt like when I come out here and check it and it's got some good clean water, I'm going to go ahead and shut this ball valve. This pipe will start to fill up. And uh, I'll show you here, explain this real quick. So basically what will happen is, is that pipe will fill up and once it's full, it will start dumping into your catchment. Okay, so one thing I wanted to talk about real quick let me move this over here where I can kind of show y'all a little bit is <laughs> this piece right here okay this water catchment system has settled in because it, it was full 330 gallons that's a lot of weight and it settled in well it made this piece too short okay to to fit to fit to here so basically what I'm doing is is um uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut a new piece of pipe right here. Not a big deal. I didn't glue it in because I'd read somewhere that, you know, the, that this thing is going to settle. Makes sense, you know. So I'll cut a new piece of pipe. Not a big deal. So anyway, what it does is it comes over here and uh, I got it where it just drops straight down. I, I drilled a hole in the bucket here and it drops straight down into there and it's got a screen. And this is a paint screen. You can get these screens at uh, any hardware store. Probably get them at Walmart too. I don't know um, if any of you shop at Walmart. They're uh, like 
four dollars or three or four bucks for for two of them they're very durable they last a long time you can clean them out and i'll show you what i did here on this one particular one so basically you just you just pull this lid up like this you take this screen when when you put this down piece in here so when you put this this piece in only only put it down into the bucket um, just a little ways so what I did basically was I cut the bottom off a five gallon bucket okay and I don't know if y'all can see that in there or not but I basically cut the bottom off a five gallon bucket okay and then I cut a hole into the containment and installed this bucket now this piece drops down in here and I only put it as you can see maybe just a little ways down in there and the reason I did that obviously is that so I can get the screen out. So I'll take the screen out, just take it off like this right here, slide it around the pipe, and voila, you pull your screen out. Now look at all the stuff that the first flush system didn't catch because I just left the ball valve off on uh, shut. So this thing filled up pretty quickly with because that's a lot of roof right there. And uh, But still, look at all that trash that, that this screen caught and it keeps it from getting inside my uh my fresh water so anyway i can take this now i can clean this out not a problem and uh not a big deal so once you get it all cleaned out and everything you just take and stick it back in there go around that stick it on your bucket boom stick your lid back down on there and uh good to go <laughs> so um Anyway, and I did paint. Remember, um, when you when you do this, uh, when you get these things, these are going to be kind of a clear plastic. If you get one of these style, and um, you don't want the sun to be shining on your water, and what it'll do is uh, create algae in your in your water. You don't want that, so it's not a big deal. Um, just paint it. I, I just took some. Uh, Crawlon paint. They make a plastic paint that adheres to plastic, and that's what I that's what I put the base layer down on. Once I put that layer down on, because the plastic paint's a little more expensive. Once I got that plastic paint on there, and I set it and let it out, let it sit out here in the sun and bake dry, you know. Um, then I just use some just some regular old gray kind of colored paint to kind of make it blend with my house a little bit. My house is kind of a grayish blue. They didn't quite have that color in a spray can, but um, anyway, I painted it just to kind of help it blend a little. And uh, you just don't want the sunlight, you know, hitting, you know, that can shine through, and it, it can't shine through this. And uh, one other thing, you want to have an overflow. So I'm gonna use my lid, and um, you can see there, it's threaded. And basically all I'm gonna do is get a threaded piece, a pipe, and uh, a fitting, and I'm just gonna, um, come up with a 90 and 90 it over just to the outside of the containment here and just you know once it fills up it'll just overflow into that you know into the overflow and just run out on the ground and on the end of that 90 what I'm going to do is take um, a hose clamp and some of that uh, screen repair and cut a piece off there put it up over the 90 and put that hose clamp on there to hold the screen on and basically it keeps any bugs or anything like that from getting into your your system here so um and then one other thing the ball valve down here let me scoot this back i need somebody to help me film um so basically this lid goes on there i'm just gonna i'm gonna drill a hole in here i'm gonna attach a, a water spigot to hook my water hose to and um, it just screws right on here. And uh, once I get that, once I get that on there, I'll be able to attach my water hose to it, and I'll be able to to water my garden. And uh, so basically, I mean, this thing's almost empty. I, I went ahead and dumped it out, but you can still see that's a lot of pressure on there. And I'm just going to go ahead and let that flush out and uh, everything. I'm going to go ahead and let that flush out and. Uh, if y'all have any questions or anything, uh, hit me in the comments. Uh, some of y'all have my phone numbers and 
my emails and all that good stuff so you know if you have any questions that's you know just just hit me up about it and i'll uh i'll be glad to help y'all out with anything so uh that's about all i got today and uh, uh real quick once you once you get your containment full all you got to do is uh you you can just come out open that ball valve open this ball valve right here and just leave it open and uh it'll it'll just sit there and keep dumping out of that out of that right there instead of dumping you know instead of running into your tank and running your overflow now remember one other thing um <clears throat> just as a thought even if your containment is full and you're going to be um it's been sitting there a while wouldn't hurt to go ahead and dump some of that water out if it starts raining and uh let it it'll fill up quick so um and just uh let some fresh water in there not a big deal anyway i hope um hope everybody has a wonderful blessed day and remember if you prepare your mind properly all else will fall into place backwoods out